If you want to make Italian ciabatta bread, you must first start off with the biga, which is an Italian sourdough mash. Let it ferment in your refrigerator overnight. Then after that, add to some flour, then knead for one hour straight until you develop enough gluten. Is what I have to say. Let me show you a real easy ciabatta bread recipe that doesn't require kneading, doesn't require any complicated sourdough mash, and a third option that I can't think of, but I'm continuing it anyway because it just flows better. Now making the dough for ciabatta bread is pretty simple. Hell, you'd have to be a complete A plus idiot in order to screw this up. But then again, there are hashtag girl bosses out there who believe in Babylonian space racism and wow. think magic moon rocks can cure autism. And I'm the one with the learning disorder. Anyway, to a large bowl, let's add three cups of bread flour. And yes, it has to be bread flour, not all purpose flour. We need lots of gluten for this recipe and bread flour is what's gonna deliver, not all purpose. Hashtag don't be a grainist. <laughs> Two and a half teaspoons of salt. Two, two tablespoons of olive oil. Half a teaspoon of yeast. You heard right, only half a teaspoon. I'll explain later. And finally, let's add two cups of water. All right, grab a non-stick spatula and mix her up. All right, let's cover this in saran wrap. Okay, put this in a warm place and let it rise overnight. No need to knead this thing for hours on end. No need to make some sort of weird, complicated pre-fermentation. Because all the flavor and all the gluten will develop at the same time overnight. So like I said, put this in a warm place for 24 hours. First thing you gotta do, Preheat the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you claim to hate America and claim not to be like us, despite having the same name of currency, similar tastes in cultural products, similar layouts in infrastructure, even similar delegations to small regional governments? The number you're looking for is 250 degrees Celsius. All right, it's been 24 hours. And our yeast has inflated it with yeasty goodness. Oh, I've been looking forward to this part. This part. Oh. Who needs to legalize magic shrooms? I can get high off this. All right, let's dust the surface with flour. Yeah, now you might notice that compared to regular sourdough, Ciabatta is a bit more softer and stickier. The inside of our ciabatta should be looking like the moon from Local 58. And that means a higher water to flour ratio. And we can't just simply handle it like we would regular sourdough. So here's what we do instead. Dust our hands with flour, lift it up from the sides, pull it up. Let's turn 90 degrees, pull it up, let it go called stretching and folding. And when it forms into a somewhat loose ball, let's go on to the next step. Uh, let me do something about these Hulk hands and then we'll go on to the next step. Now generously cover your work surface in flour. All right, it needs to be looking like Wall Street circa 1987. Okay, using a regular knife or a dough cutter, let's cut this in half. But try your best, let's form these into rectangles. Now, if you want to make ciabatta buns, you can cut these halves in halves. If you don't want to, then let's transfer these to a parchment line baking sheet. Let's try our best to reform these. Let's cover these in a kitchen towel. And let this rise from anywhere from one to two hours. Stick our bread in the middle of our 475 degree oven and let it cook for 30 minutes. Okay, and after, ah, oh, jeez. 
Jeez, I might have to get new oven mitts. Heat's penetrating right through. Anyway, and once they're done, transfer these to a cooling rack and let them cool. All right, once the bread cools down, you can cut it up, smear some butter on it, or use it to make the best sandwich bread ever. And um, I already did this in my baguette video, but let's squeeze the bread. I don't even know Marvin Gaye or Viagra. I just need to listen to this on an endless loop to get me in the mood. And Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Ugh, you wanna hear something embarrassing? I still haven't thought of a joke for the Celsius segment. Uh, I'm gonna be in here for a while.